Brandon Donovan takes the field and making his San Jose Earthquake debut. I was at Leverkusen and was not playing. At that point, all I wanted was the opportunity to, to play and to have fun. So when I got to San Jose, I was ecstatic. The biggest moment of the match, Donovan, Harvey gets wrong, one nil earthquakes. You know, those early days in, in San Jose, he was really coming into his own as, as one of the best players in the country. I think he, he lifted everybody's game, made everyone better. I think it put the San Jose earthquakes on the map in the Bay Area and in MLS and all on a 19, 20, 20 year old shoulders and he handled it so well. To be honest, for somebody who grew up in the LA area, uh, I, during those four years, I considered myself a Bay Area person because I really fell in love with it. I became loyal to it because this was the place that gave me my chance to play and to succeed as a soccer player. I remember in 04, I, end of 04, I spoke to my agent and I said to, to Rich, I want to try it one more time in Germany. So we made it all work. I went back to Leverkusen and within two and a half or three months, I remember calling my agent and saying, I would be okay with San Jose, but I'd prefer to go to LA. When he first got here, it was jarring. It was jarring for everybody because he was a uh, representative of, you know, what we weren't at the time. Lannon's uh, return from Leverkusen was a watershed moment for the league and for the U.S. national team. He elevated the league in such a short period of time, I think faster than any, any player could have. Landon, classy. Landon, yes! Ninth minute, the first goal of the new season for the new player in L.A. Landon was the big ticket, you know, and for him to come to L.A. was was everything. I think we, we won the lottery with him coming back and wanting to come home. Uh, we knew that uh, Landon was going to do some special things here in LA. I remember the first time we went back to San Jose and I was walking out of the bus into the hotel lobby and I heard a horn beep and uh, someone said, hey Donovan. And I looked over and started to wave and he went, F you. And I went, Whoa. And that was the first time it really hit me that, um, oh, maybe I'm not this like beloved, everything's okay, honky-dory athlete anymore. When it really hit was when we got to the stadium, when we got to Spartan Stadium, there was some real anger and hatred. The soccer fans are like any fans. They're, they're very loyal to their team. And anytime somebody maybe turns a corner and goes to a rival, it really you know, gets them a little heated. And in this case, it really was heated. There was this, uh, this pressure uh, letting him know that we were unhappy. Everybody had their own levels of uh, unhappiness. When we went for a warm up, and when I came back in, I was running up the ramp, and all of a sudden, something just nailed me in the face. I mean, really hard, like, like really took me back. And someone, a fan sitting right there, had balled up a t-shirt and tied it together, it really shook me up. I think they felt slighted that uh, they didn't have him anymore and, and were letting it be known. I almost felt like we deserved to lose the game because of what had happened with me. It was almost like after the game, I was just happy that it was over and we could get out of there. I think that was actually a moment for the MLS that demonstrated that it had surpassed more than just what happens on the field. That this was a personality that makes a difference in the league. And we're gonna have signs that basically are gonna show how upset we are that you left our club to go to our rival in Los Angeles. How dare you? And in the end, I think Landon was the one that benefited the most out of it because he demonstrated whether it was for San Jose or for LA, that he was the difference maker. When you look at that rivalry between San Jose and LA, um, Landon being traded obviously is a huge factor, I, I think, in the rivalry, not only between the fans, but the, the guys on the field. As far as the rivalry goes, I mean, if you were to pick a best 11 for each franchise, he's probably the first name to come off your lips for both teams. This is maybe another uh, piece of the puzzle of why this is arguably the greatest uh, rivalry in all of Major League Soccer. And, the person that kind of binds it together is arguably the greatest player this country has ever seen. Every team, every national team, they need special players on the field to do special things. 
to win the important games, the games that really matter. And Landon, whether it was for the Quakes or whether it was for Galaxy, he always showed up big in the big game. And that's what I think made him so special.